Okay, here we are. Back with Pathologic 2. We have just got off this... I don't know which train. One of these trains. It appears that these three guys jumped us as soon as we get, got off the train. With a knife. And somehow, um, we killed all of them. And there's some kind of wolf man over there. Let's have a look what they have on them. Some broken scissors. Fishing hooks. Some money. A pocket watch. Very good. A fingernail. The ferryman requires payment before he'll let me on the boat. This odd coin will do. Bottle. Some other gumph. You've got a charm. Some toast. A scrap name. When a person is done with their name, they discard it. I don't know what to make of that. Hey, kid. The worst is yet to come. You hit hard for Hunchback, but whoa, boy, you screwed up. Those three guys are dead. I saw you do it too. You're going to be in serious trouble. Uh, Hunchback. I'm bent over in pain here. You need to handle that bleeding, old man. You're covered in blood. Your own blood. Yeah. Here you go. A tourniquet. It used to be my leash, but seems like you need it more. Uh, thanks. Man, you really have some anger problems, don't you? Zing, pow, blam. Three guys dead. This ain't the right way. Ain't how we do things around here. Yeah, I don't need a lecture. And they didn't really give me much choice. Huh. You're going to get in trouble. The two guys that got away... The guys who got away? Are going to stir up the whole town. Every dog has its day. They'll make you apologise for sure. On your back in the dirt. I didn't have a choice. I acted in self-defence. Well, you've got to be nicer. Just hit them three times max. Send them running and let them run don't actually have to kill everyone who bothers you. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. You can speak to some people a few times in a row. Okay. Let's, um... So our health is kind of low. Our immunity is kind of low. Our exhaustion's... Okay. We're hungry. We're thirsty. So let's... Um, let's eat. Let's drink. And let's do whatever we do with that. So that gave us a little bit more health. Not much, though. When the cat's away, the mice will play. The one with the knife was Kirik, a leather worker. I'm not going to cry for him. That guy was nuts. Or was it an ambush? They weren't waiting for you. I think you were an accident. Then who was the real target? I don't know. Rumours going around that someone else got murdered tonight. Guess I should sniff around and find out. Who knows? Maybe it's true. <laughs> Good boy. Oh no, not more of you guys. I really appreciate how the light kind of just draws you over to them, though. Yeah, it's really cool. Oh, who are you? Well, Barak, you're nearly dead. Got a few minutes left. I'm here to announce your demise. Can't do much. You've been bashed on the head several times and locals' fists are heavy. And one of those four stab wounds looks deep. Significant blood loss too, and the local climate is unforgiving in terms of strain. Do you have any heart conditions? Why, why is everyone on about my heart all the time? Your health is a mess. I'm guessing you haven't eaten in several days and that you didn't sleep last night. Uh, okay. Advice. Okay, the dog helped me with my wounds. I could use bandages. A drugstore. 
Okay, thanks. I, I've got this. Welcome back, Warden. You've been away for a while. You probably don't re even remember the heady scent of... How the hell do you pronounce that? Tura Tire? Tire Tuaya? In the air? Do you know why you got attacked? No clue. The whole town is looking for a murderer. A very important and respected man was killed last night. The townsfolk loved him better than some children love their fathers. Don't be too hard on them. Who was killed? You knew the victim. Less than you thought, but more than most. Don't worry, you'll learn more soon, but I personally can't divulge the sort of information. Investigator's privilege. So you're an investigator? Aren't we all? Everyone lies so you can get to the bottom of things by using your brain. That's what your father used to say. It's an actual quote from him, by the way, because I happen to know him. And we got even better acquainted today. How about you? Did you two argue much? Why do you care? Indeed, old Isidore Barak is an exemplar of a true doctor and a true human being, if a miserable one. Do you honour your father? He's the reason I returned. Nothing's a threat to him anymore, trust me, I don't like the sound of that. Maybe dishonour. But even that's unlikely. You're a man of obligation after all, aren't you? Guess it runs in the family. Whatever, that bit's not important. Time is short. Oh, by the way, Barak, time is important. Be careful how you spend it. Spend it? Be careful how you spend it, and be aware that you don't have much left. How much? You've got less than two weeks. Twelve days or so. Trust me, I'm a specialist, so use your time well and hurry home. Why are you wasting your time here? Your father's waiting. Okay. Be quiet. He must not hear your voice. Lean close. He only speaks in lies and wants you dead. Yeah, can you elaborate? Do not go home. Stay clear of home. In town you have friends yet, do you not? Yeah, three. The town is yours. May you soon find how deep, how far its roots run down your spine. May you inhabit it, sink through its pores, learn vein and artery, nerve and blood and cell. You need no home beyond the town itself. Forget that place you so eagerly seek. I beg forgiveness. Grievous harm will come to me should I tell you more than I can. Alright, thanks. Okay, let's consult our map then. Uh, okay. So, I should hurry home. I met that guy. Some important was murdered. Okay, I guess I'm just heading towards the house. Look at that thing, it's massive. That's the, um, the station, which is closed down from what I understand. It seems to be all boarded up. So these are the warehouses. Hmm. So I can drink, I can get water.
There's some people here. Uh, she must be offended or ashamed. She's free to go. We told her, but she refuses. I'll have you know we were respectful. We only checked her legs. It's mandatory. And she had normal human legs, so free to go. Yet, yeah. there she stands. You checked her legs. What for? Neither clay nor bone. She's normal. She's a normal living girl, not a shabnak. And so she's free to go. Yet she doesn't. She must be offended. The step people have odd morals. They don't fear death. They refuse to cut a body and are ashamed of strange things. What shabnak? A shabnak, a creature of step legends. They say earth disgorges it. And then it steals a woman's form and goes around murdering folks. It's a silly... It's all silly, of course. But we had an order to check, so we do. Who ordered that? We are the Super Rob's people. Each of the three houses assigned someone to look for the monster. The Olginskis, the Canes, of course, and obviously the Super Rob's. The latter being us. And who might you be? Hang on, what monster? A step creature, a golem, a clay, clay wench. It steals a woman's shape, but its legs remain clay or bone, so that's how you can tell. Yeah, all right, good hunting. Bad grief always goads me into doing crazy stunts. This used to be our secret layer. on the draw already shot someone so much for his oath so this is bad grief well look who's entered my humble home could that be my pal Artemy the artist the Artemy who cuts arteries maybe no I don't recognize this man too soft they say they must have kept him swaddled and coddled whatever palace he ran off for yeah good to see you too Lil Bird told me you're a hard-boiled criminal now. I'll admit, old friend, I got misty-eyed with pride. Lucky for you, I can store you anywhere in the warehouses and no quail or nightingale would sing a tune. It was self-defense. Forget it, tell me, what's your plan? I don't know. Cub, your old man got killed this night. You haven't heard? No. Hell, Artemy, half the town wants your head over this, these, those fools. Uh, an easy fix, give me a little time. Uh, yeah, go ahead, if you want. What's the plan then, revenge or something with a little more finesse? Well, if he's dead, I guess we'll try and find out who's behind it. Just stay away from the super of, I mean it. The man's a hawk. All might makes right. No sense. He'll throw you in jail first and only think about it months later. I know your thick skull too. You charge in there, shoulders squared, thinking, oh, the truth will win out. Bullshit. Stay away. Alright. I got it. So, you are Grigory's Reflection. Even in a handcrafted town like this, there is an underground a rat's nest. At odds with the law, at odds with good morals, people come to them with dubious challenges and requests. So they're thieves. 
You know my master, he is your friend, and he hasn't changed much since you last saw him. He always loved to live on the edge, never was a stickler for rules, but he was never truly vile or cruel. Yeah, he has changed. He wants to seem a kingpin, a king, a local czar of his own small turf. Wants to seem, but not be. Play a big, play a big wheeler dealer. That's not who he really is, he's just playing pretend. What's he afraid of? He's worried that blood started to spill now. And it was probably spilled by his men, the people who rubbed shoulders with him, hiding their teeth at first. He's worried you'll think he has it all under control, meaning today's craze is his doing. Isn't it? Perhaps he's partially responsible, perhaps he did not corrupt them with his talk of how any law is but chains that one must break in order to become free and truly human. But he never wanted bloodshed. Keep that in mind. Thanks, Reflection. If only we knew who did away with your father. We'd spare the beast nothing. Run into the old crowd, stack Rubin and Lara. Sorry, stack Rubin, Lara, a different... Two different people. No. Gotta say it's a tough time for our friendship. I mean, if you can even call this friendship. Gravel-hearted Lara won't look at me now, and Stack's even worse. He completely ignored my plea for help. You need help? You've gone outside recently? It's chaos. Innocent souls torn limb from limb. Everyone's lost their minds hunting the culprit. A step golem. A step golem some think, but others are after me. Um... After... After my... After your hide. Sad bad grief. So after me. All this going on, naturally, my men ran into a mob. Barely got out alive. They need saw bones bad. Your old man's gone, and his star student stack won't take the job, so... So you've got friends who are injured. And something tells me we're out there feeding the poor. Hell if I know. Can't make heads or tails of them now. If you squint, piecework does kind of resemble you. A sturdy man. Perhaps he did take a few hits to the noggin in your stead. How do you feel about that? I suppose I could look at him. Where is he? Not here. Shiner dropped by, said they're waiting for death in a hideout. Poor piecework, he's knocking on heaven's door. Got something stuck in his belly. Can you believe, folks, they're all shapeshifters, I swear, shedding skin and eating each other. May not look it, but every person in this town has a vile beast inside. I need tools. Take a look inside the crate. Alright. Thank you. Bandage and eggs and coffee, some money, a needle and a scalpel. Very good. So, um, that reflection guy down by the station said to not go straight home. And now I know that, um, Isidore is dead. I'm not sure if we could, should go straight home. Reuben is my father's student, almost a brother to me. I should see him. Okay. 
Lara Ravel lives by the river in a house called The Shelter. We used to be friends when we were kids. Hopefully she will at least let me sleep at her place. And one of Grief's boys got stabbed. I promised to take a look at his wounded belly. Okay, I guess we'll go see Rubin first because he's the closest and take it from there. Um, hello. So you're old Barak's son. Uh, yeah. I've got bad news. Go on. Someone sharing your features spilled blood. It became known. People want revenge. They say that whoever murdered the three men at the station is also responsible for Simon Kane's death. Who's Simon Kane? Anyway, it was self-defense. Draw a knife? Bad idea. Nothing is worse than cutting a body. You think if your father was allowed to, so are you. You are not him. Actually, I am a surgeon now. You have nothing to do with it, I know. I'm a ferryman. Well, almost. Actually, I'm a train driver. I know you are on my train. I wasn't alone. But you were. We drivers can feel the living weight. And there was only one human being on that train. You. Odd. The townsfolk aren't too fond of ferrymen and drivers. So we will help you. Go to a quay. Show your face to a worm and he'll take you wherever you ask for a fingernail. Show your face to a man and he'll help you out with equipment. Thank you. Okay. Like that. Go like that. So, um, let's recap then. So far we've had, um, so we had a letter from our father. Asking us to return home. I think it said something bad was happening, but it wasn't specific, as far as I know. It's the very men I presume. Yeah, okay, that's kind of what I was getting at just then. So we get home, and our father's been murdered, and everyone seems to suspect that I was the one to do it, even though I, I was just literally getting off a train. 
Yeah, that doesn't really make sense. Also, someone called Simon Kane has been murdered. Don't know anything about that. We have three friends in town. That's Bad Grief, who's like a underworld boss. Rubin, who is my father's student. And Lara, who I don't really know anything about yet. There's a lot of, a lot of bottles in these uh, bins. Uh, well, oh, how ferocious Mother Nature is, for tis her wrath that must be born. Oh, friend, if only I could quench my thirst, I'd give heaven and earth for a sip of cold water. There's a river by there. Only a brute... Only brute beasts drink from the river. Us proud men deserve spring water. It is brought here in barrels, but they're too often empty. I would get it there, but I have no bottles. I drink from a fountain, but I might faint first. The air is far too heady. Yeah, look, have some of my water. Hang on. There's a well. Oh no, what does that... I'm unwelcome. I'm unwelcome. Everywhere. Okay, great. Yeah, go on. Water seems to be easy enough to come by. We'll just check some more bins as we go. Uh, this way. There we go. So this is Rubin's house, I think. Um, were they all just running away from her? Everyone's losing their minds. Hell, they'll start looking for ghosts and bogeymen soon. Shabnaks don't exist. It's just your damned twire blooming, making our heads swim. Who started the rumour? You don't know who I am. I'm hated. I'm hated everywhere. That was a uh, fast spreading rumour. Um, I 
Hey, Carlada, I didn't do anything. Why did they run away? I don't know, they behave so strange. What are you doing here, Bassagan? I brought my bones here. Uh, why? I won't explain to you, I did nothing wrong. I just brought my bones here, what's wrong with that? These bones are mine, I didn't steal them. Tell the truth. Um. You should be more careful with your bones. I mean, you are acting strange. What's so strange about that? They're, they're the strange ones. Well, people don't usually toy around with bull skulls. But no, actually. Do whatever you want, you're not hurting anyone. I believe you. Yeah, you you have fun doing whatever. Whatever the hell it is you're doing. I am so confused. This is the place, yeah. Everyone hates me, I'll be hunted. Great. Do I have any lockpicks? I'm getting hungry. I've got an egg. Okay. Exhausted on my last legs. Bachelor? Well, one thing is clear you are a very, very unlucky man. Oh, lucky man. Who'd have guessed? Which means you need to take care of yourself. You, you are so careless. Varak. It's Artemy Varak, right? Uh, no, Burak. Artemy Burak. Apologies, Owen, may I ask, is it true that your actions have already resulted in four deaths? Three. That's what I thought. And who the hell are you? Daniel Dankovsky, Bachelor of Medicine, at your, at your service. But before we speak any further, I'd like to clarify a rather crucial thing. Just how highly do you hold your sense of duty? Yeah, too highly, clearly. It's brought me back here. Well, from this point on, you owe me. I just saved you from a rather grisly fate. Yeah? Your Reuben was utterly murd- Oh, your Reuben has utterly murderous intents. Isidore meant quite a lot to him. Your father was his mentor. Reuben even considers himself old Barak's true son, and like you. Anyway, he thinks you're to blame. What a load of shit. I managed to convince him that you didn't actually kill Isidore. Well, not empirically. But I'm under the impression that, in Reuben's mind, you still caused your father's death. You did, after all, take your sweet time getting here. While Isidore was counting on you for help, is that true? Well... What, are you trying to make me feel guilty? Look, you have my condolences, Vorak. It's Vorak. But since we've established that you owe me... Let, have we? Let me explain how you'll repay your debt. Things are about to get a little tense. 
and I need only one thing. Just do exactly as I tell you. You're a doctor, right? It's Barak, and I'm a surgeon. And we haven't established anything. Um, I don't know that one that says. Amatat Konzohan as the local one, as goes the local one. Bit out of my depth with the uh, language here. Allow me to sum up. Reuben told me he's the only decent doctor in town, but you're a competent surgeon. I need you alive, healthy and quiet. Close at hand. Spare me any wild improv improvisations. I'll be the one handling the situation. Medica Morbo Adhibere. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll deal with Rubin. Where is he? Gone to carry out my orders. From now on, your Rubin does what I tell him to do. He entered my service of his own record. I suggest that you do the same. It will help everyone. Service doing what? Are you solving the murder? Yeah, just get out of my way. What? Just get out of my way. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to empty this cabinet. When I have a lockpick, I should come back here. <clears throat> okay, so... <clears throat> um, hello? Is the asshole still in there? The one with the carpet bag. Yeah, he's in there. I grant you every right to throw something at him if you desire. Where's Reuben? We need a doctor. Reuben isn't here, kids. We got zero Reubens left in stock. It's been a disaster. Alma Duke and Wolfling were poisoned. Ah, oh, shit. What's going on? Uh, where are they? In a warehouse with little flags, go down the railroad and to the left, you'll see it. Alright, I'll check it out. Yes? There's a mouse. You're the man everybody's after. Yeah, apparently so. The one and only. Well, whatever, it's good, if I good we found you. We need help. Yeah? What for? We need you to hold a trial for a murderer. What, the murderer? We can't do it without you. You've caught the murderer or a murderer? It's kind of hard to say. If you're telling the truth, I'm in luck. The courthouse is in a warehouse, the one with the little flags. Again. Okay. All right. Oh, there's a save in here. Perfect. I should go save it. I guess it was in this room, was it? Ah, here we go, there's another room. Oh, this was worth coming back for. A spring, finally. Weird.
A second scalpel, that's handy. Okay. What's that? Um, it's ominous, whatever it is. Alright, let's save it. God, look, this guy is an asshole. 